All right, we're going to try to add the uh, axle part to the box. So we're going to go to a new assembly. And we're going to first place the box in. And let's rotate this around to a better position. And um, let's right click on the house, set the current view as home, fit to view. So every time we click on the home, it'll show that up. Let's go up to view, shadows. I like to turn on the ambient shadows. Looks a little bit better. Okay, all right. So um, let's place some more things in here. So we're gonna place in uh, the uh, axle bushings. We need two of those. We can uh, free rotate these. Okay, so I'm going to constrain. I'm going to do an insert. I'm going to grab that surface there and this outer part here, and to put and put that in. And then. Constrain again, insert again, that interface of that bottom part there, and then right there, apply that. Okay, we have those in. All right, let's get the axle. Okay, let's move it around, how we can figure it out here. All right, um, let's try to, this is tr axles are, square axles are tricky. Um, let's try to get this surface attached onto that one. Apply that, and now let's uh, let's move this. Um, well, let's move it up this way. If we can get another side there, constrain that. Uh, let's get this and this. Apply that, and while we're here, we can go ahead and flush this surface with this one. Apply that. Okay. Um, we, we flushed it on this side because on this other side, I'm going to uh, eventually put the crank um, over here because I'm right-handed and I want to watch it. So you can decide how which side you want the crank on eventually. Um, I'm going to go around this side and try to constrain this stuff in here. Let's see how are we gonna do this. So let's let's uh, let's get the free move, move that out a little bit. Um, I don't want to go too crazy with it. We kind of lose our idea where we're at. Constrain. I want this and this. Okay, apply that. Um, okay, that's that enough? Good enough. Constrain. Add face and that face, good, apply it. All right, I think that is good for that. Okay, so we gotta bring the crank in here. Place, 
crank. Okay, I'm gonna orient this around how we kind of want it. Okay, I'm gonna go like this because I'm gonna I'm gonna put this face on this top face here. Constrain. Try to grab that one. This top. Okay. Apply that. That's good. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and flush this right now. I want to flush this front and this front. That uh, went weird on me. It's fine. Um, let's remove that back over. Um, you got the top and that top, I think. I need. Let's do this. Let's do that. And that. Apply that. And do we got it? Okay, we got it. All right. So this is tricky. It can be really tricky on how this ends up looking to get it just in the right spot. Um, okay. One thing I forgot to do right from the beginning, and you should have done this. Sorry. Now you're not going to do it. Um, the box, right at the beginning, what I wanted to do with the box, right click on that and I want to ground it. Grounded. So the box won't move when the other parts are um, moving. So now what should be able to happen is I should be able to take the crank and turn the crank and everything uh, moves. Okay. Alright, so we got the crank part in there. Um, I think that'll be good enough for that video, and we'll do it. We'll do another video next.